Well, hey folks, Dave from GroundCloud here. Thanks for watching our video. This is part of our Welcome to GroundCloud series. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to grab a ground manifest from the FedEx Customer Connection website from an iPad and shoot it up into our cloud, the ground cloud. First thing we're gonna do is come over to Safari on your iPad. So that's what looks like this icon here. Looks like kind of a, a compass. We'll open it up and what we'll do here is type into the address bar, the FCC website. I'm gonna start with myvisaccount.fedex.com and here's where over on the right side we'll sign in with our FedEx ID and password and we'll tap sign in. We'll see how the FedEx website is, is working for us today. All right, now as it loads up over here on the left, big and prominently, we're gonna tap on FedEx customer connection. Looks like that pops open a new tab. And the next thing we're gonna do is look towards the bottom. Right now, the default tab down at the bottom left is messaging. We're gonna tap on p and manifests right there. Okay, so now we're gonna pick our work area. So I'm gonna tap on the pop-up menu there. And so I'm gonna tap on the work area that I'm interested in, and I'm gonna tap the search. There it is. So by default, it's highlighted the pickup manifest, which we also support, but on this video, we're going to show you the uh, the normal one is gonna be the delivery manifest, so I've just tapped on that. Okay, so now look over on the right side. It says there's, looks like 70 records found, meaning 70 stops, and notice there's a little green icon with a green X in it. That is the little icon for an Excel file, so I'm gonna tap on that. And, oh, wait a minute, look at this. So it says this pop-up was blocked. You must allow pop-ups to use this function. If you get that, Here's how we fix that. We go over into the iOS settings app. Looks like those gears icon there. I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna scroll down to where we wanna look for Safari preferences. So there it is. And I'm gonna scroll over here. Notice right here, it says block pop-ups. By default, I had that on. So I'm gonna turn that off. And so I should be good to go now. Now I'm gonna go back to Safari and now I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna tap on that icon. And now this time, Safari asks me, it's attempting to open a pop-up window, of course, I'm gonna tap on allow. And there it is. So now we've just, we're, we're now looking at the manifest, but the question is how do we get that manifest into GroundCloud? So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to, I don't know if you saw that before, where it briefly said more in the upper left corner, and then it disappeared. So I'm gonna tap right in the middle of the screen. And when I do that, I see that more. I'm gonna tap that where it says more before it disappears. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap on the mail icon. Okay, now let's look at the case for iOS 11 that was released in middle to late September 2017, and it's even easier for iOS 7. In this case, once you're viewing the manifest on your screen like this, you merely tap the send or the share button in the upper right hand corner like this, and that brings up these different options here, and you simply tap on the mail icon, just like that. And then, if you remember what your address is about where to send that. If you don't remember, I'm going to cancel out of this just to show you how to find that. So what email address you send that to is you go to your ground cloud management console and that's at groundcloud.io and I'm going to scroll over here to where it says contact and terminal and right here in the middle look where it says manifest dropbox. And for this test account, we have it as my-customer at ground2.cloud. Okay, so that's 
the email address that you send everything to, whether they are HD manifests, whether they are ground manifests, whether they are pick up a manifest or a delivery manifest, it, for you, it all goes to that Dropbox. So for this one, it is for Acme, it is my hyphen customer at ground2.cloud. So now I'm going to go back to the, the tab over here where I have my delivery manifest. Again, I'm going to tap in the middle of the file so I get that more button. Now I'm going to type on mail and I'm going to send this to, here we go. It's my, in this case, now this, this would be different for you, just making that clear. But in this case, it is my hyphen, where's the hyphen? Oh, there it is. My hyphen customer at ground two dot cloud. And again, just to be triply sure, that first part, that my hyphen customer part of the email, Dropbox, that's gonna be different for you. But for this test case, it's that. And now notice that I've got the delivery manifest Dot XLS so that I can see it there. It's an email attachment and I'm just going to hit send and that's it. So I can know that the manifest has come in if I go back to my ground cloud management dashboard at groundcloud.io and if I tap on manifest right there so this is where we're gonna see the manifest pop up. And so I see, aha, yes, my manifest is, is there. It has come in and that's where you can see and verify that it has not come in. If you ever see something like this that is an error, please let us know. That means FedEx has done something weird. Now, this is a test account where we were throwing some things in there. You shouldn't see that, but if all goes well, you should see this, that your manifest pop up here, and that should be automatically calculating the optimized route and sending it to the assigned driver. Okay, folks, that's all that I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be safe out there, and we'll catch you next time.